Capybaras are the largest rodents in the world. Native to South America, these fascinating creatures are known for their friendly and social nature, often found in groups near bodies of water. Their unique characteristics and behavior have made them a subject of interest not only to scientists but also to animal enthusiasts around the globe. Capybaras are easily recognizable due to their distinct appearance. They have a robust, barrel-shaped body covered with coarse, reddish-brown to grayish fur. Adults typically weigh between 35 to 66 kilograms and measure about 106 to 134 centimeters in length. Despite their large size, capybaras have relatively short legs, which are well adapted for their semi-aquatic lifestyle. Their webbed feet help them swim efficiently, while their eyes, ears, and nostrils are positioned high on their heads, allowing them to see and breathe while mostly submerged. Capybaras are primarily found in various regions across South America, including Brazil, Venezuela, Colombia, Uruguay, and Argentina. They inhabit a range of ecosystems but prefer areas close to water bodies such as rivers, lakes, swamps, and marshes. These water-rich environments provide them with ample food, protection from predators, and opportunities to cool off as capybaras are known to spend a significant amount of time in the water. Capybaras are highly social animals, often living in groups ranging from 10 to 20 individuals. The larger aggregations of up to 100 have been observed, especially in favorable habitats. These groups typically consist of a dominant male, several females, their offspring, and subordinate males. The social structure is quite organized, with the dominant male maintaining order and access to the best resources through vocalizations and scent marking. Communication among capybaras is complex and involves a variety of vocalizations, including purring, barking, whistling, and grunting. These sounds are used to convey different messages, from alerting the group to danger to maintaining social bonds. Scent marking is another crucial aspect of their communication, with males having scent glands on their noses and females on their anal glands, used to mark territory and signal reproductive status. As herbivores, capybaras have a diet primarily composed of grasses and aquatic plants. They are selective feeders, preferring the tender shoots and leaves of certain grasses, which provide them with the necessary nutrients. During the dry season, when fresh grass is scarce, they may also consume grains, fruits, and tree bark. To maximize nutrient absorption, capybaras practice coprophagy, the consumption of their feces, which helps in further digestion of plant material. Capybara reproduction is closely tied to their social structure and environmental conditions. 
Breeding can occur year-round in tropical regions but is often synchronized with the rainy season in more temperate areas, ensuring that the young are born when food is abundant. After a gestation period of about 150 days, females give birth to litters of two to eight pups. The young are prosocial, meaning they are born well-developed, with open eyes and the ability to move and swim shortly after birth. Capybara pups are nursed by their mother and other lactating females in the group, a behavior known as all-parenting, which enhances their survival chances. The juveniles begin grazing within a week but continue to nurse for about 16 weeks. In the wild, capybaras have a lifespan of 6 to 10 years, while those in captivity can live up to 12 years or more, thanks to the absence of predators and consistent food supply. In their natural habitats, capybaras face predation from several large carnivores, including jaguars, pumas, anacondas, and caimans. They rely on their keen senses and strong swimming abilities to evade these predators. When threatened, capybaras will often rush to the water, where they can stay submerged for up to five minutes, using the aquatic environment as a refuge. Human activities pose significant threats to capybara populations as well. Habitat destruction due to agriculture, urban development, and deforestation reduces their living spaces and food resources. Additionally, in some regions, capybaras are hunted for their meat and hide. Conservation efforts are essential to ensure the survival of these unique rodents, focusing on habitat preservation and sustainable management practices. Capybaras have made their mark in various cultural contexts, particularly in their native South America. They are often featured in folklore and are sometimes kept as pets or displayed in zoos and wildlife sanctuaries worldwide. Due to their docile and friendly nature, capybaras can become quite accustomed to human interaction, making them popular attractions. In captivity, providing an environment that mimics their natural habitat is crucial for their well-being. This includes access to water for swimming, a variety of vegetation for grazing, and opportunities for social interaction with other capybaras. Zoos and sanctuaries play an essential role in educating the public about capybaras and promoting conservation efforts to protect these remarkable animals in the wild. The International Union for Conservation of Nature currently lists capybaras as a species of least concern due to their wide distribution and relatively stable population numbers. However, local populations can be at risk from habitat loss, hunting, and environmental changes. Conservation organizations and governments in South America are working to implement measures that balance human activities with the preservation of capybara habitats. Protected areas, such as national parks and wildlife reserves, are critical for safeguarding capybara populations. 
Additionally, community-based conservation programs that involve local residents in sustainable land use practices can help mitigate the impact on capybara habitats. Education and awareness campaigns are also vital in promoting the importance of capybaras within their ecosystems and encouraging coexistence with human populations.